Welcome to Truly Here and our ozone training and ozone research. Now, traveling around the world and interviewing many doctors gives you many recipes, many treatment forms, many different concepts. But one thing they are all in agreement with, and that is how to make ozone water. Now, there is different systems. There is devices that you can purchase for $10,000 that make you regular, everyday ozone water all time long. But there is also home systems. And I've put together here a home system for you that contains out of a flask. You have to get your bowl or your champagne bowl or whatever you use um, yourself. It's just important that you can place this container inside and then fill ice around. I didn't bring any ice here into the studio, but you can fill ice and pack your water cold. And that's the main agreement. If you have cold water, it holds a lot more ozone. And that is very beneficial for treatment. So you can do many, many small treatments, or you can do one big treatment and actually have a very high saturation. So when the water is cold and you bubble a high concentration that we set here with the flow regulator, through that water, then it will start to build up a lot of energy. And that's what we try to do. Now, this system, this flask comes together with a destruct unit and with a silicon cork and then the tubing. Now, let me show you how to set this all up. The two long ones you hold aside or you put aside and the two short ones that come out at the bottom of the cork, you put them into the bottle. And that's the bubble stone. And this is a special hose that we will explain in a moment. So you put both of them in and seal it tight. And you can actually really seal it without any problem because it's supposed to be there for a very long time. You can always fill in new ice. You can always fill through this hose, the container, but it is in itself a closed system, all right? Now let's connect one of these pipes here, the one with the connector. Now in your set, in your super bundle, you will have a stop valve. This stop valve lets the air go this way, but it doesn't let any water or liquid go back into the generator, which would break it. And that's why I always put this in, and you can see hopefully on the camera here, it has an arrow shape in this direction and it is flat on the other. So the air goes this way in direction of the arrow. Now you connect this with your lure lock to the ozone generator and that's it. Now you're set. The overflow goes into the destruct unit. It's MnO3 in here. So on the other side, the only thing that comes out is oxygen. It is broken back down into oxygen. Now this little funnel I'll explain in a moment when we fill up the container and I didn't bring a glass so I'll just drain it into the big container. This is where you normally hold your glass underneath and get ozone water out without that waft of ozone without opening the flask. Just leave it as it is and fill your cup with water. Now let's turn it on. How do we set that up? You want to go with the setting that gives you a good saturation. So one quarter liter is actually good. If you go for one eighth of a liter, 71, you probably have very little bubbling. We can try that now. So we set it first to one eighth and we open the ozone, uh, the oxygen bottle and we turn on the ozone generator. And you can see here on the stone that it actually bubbles, but it's not a lot of bubbles. So it will take quite a bit. It's a higher concentration, but also less volume to ozonate all of this water. So what we can do is we turn it to one quarter and you can see it's quite a lot more that bubbles through. And out here in the room, you can't smell anything because whatever goes into the device bubbles through the stone and comes out and goes into the destruct unit. And here is no smell. And that's how you leave it, especially with the ice around. You can leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to reach maximum saturation. And that is the main concern. That's the most important thing for you to know. You want to have a very strong concentration or let's say you have a lot of burping, you have a lot of bacteria die off and you get slightly dizzy, you can start with a lower concentration. So turn it up to uh, one eighth 
and really, um, no, the other way around, to one half. Let double the air through. It's weaker concentration, but faster uh, upregulated. So it contains the ozonides. And that's something you can drink to get started, to get your whole body trained to it. And then you can turn to one quarter. And then if you like, you can even turn it then later to one eighth for a little bit and let some of that high concentration ozone bind with the water. And that's it. So one quarter middle and you don't need to think about anything. And that's it. Now you let that run for 10 minutes. And now let's just imagine this is the cup. And we take the cup and we squeeze here tight that outlet that goes and you can see it coming down here the outlet that is going to the destruct unit you just squeeze that and then you can fill your cup and you can see it's draining in here but there is no ozone coming out there is no excess that you can breathe and this is a really nice system so when you just squeeze that off and the water starts running into your glass then you can fill it up and let's just face it if I turn this to one half more flow and I turn on you can see it's a lot faster flow and you can get faster your water out so you can do that just to fill your glass and then turn it back to a higher concentration and keep bubbling now the same tube here is actually made and you can stick that in and now you fill water up here and you fill your container while the system is running so this is a really beautiful setup actually created by um, dr bill dumb he's a dentist from florida and he was really nice to show that at one of the trade shows and he's built us a few so that you have the joy they normally go all into dentist practices because they have them bubbling all day and every patient gets that to um, flush out their mouth to disinfect all the bacteria to flush out teeth they use that all day long they use it to clean their water pipes it's a beautiful disinfectant and in case you don't know what you use ozone for well it's pretty simple ozone water you use it to disinfect it's actually a very powerful disinfectant you can fill the ozone water into a little spray bottle and spray it onto a cutting board to completely disinfect to wipe off and wash off your um, surface areas in the clinic if you like with ozone water completely disinfected without creating all those resistant bugs so it's a very very powerful treatment and you can drink it to kill off bacteria like helicobacter pylori and all of that so it's used in medical purposes it oxygenates your body and you can disinfect wounds and spray it on wounds wash off wounds that are infected and then treat them with ozone bagging and ozone oil but this is the primary start this is a very powerful treatment that should not be underestimated like i said russian research shows that when you bubble water in cold condition for about 10 minutes 15 minutes in a concentration of one quarter and you drink it for about a week to two and that's the study then helicobacter pylori is dead and that's one of those pathogenic bacteria and we probably have a lot more so it's a beautiful treatment to start with to train your body to absorb everything and it's easy to do and absolutely safe with this very easy kit